Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Kevin, East Cape Skiffs. Behind me, a very, very tricked out uh, Fury. More to come uh, as well down the lineup, but let's talk about this one. Uh, first of all, this is gonna stay home. It's gonna be here in Orlando. Three, uh, three businessmen who buy boats together and fish. They have all different styles. Came in together and bought the Fury. Um, they're gonna fish Mosquito Lagoon. They're gonna fish the backside of uh, Boca Grande, Charlotte Harbor area. Um, it will see some Keys action, but mainly it'll stay around the lagoon and the Indian River area. Okay guys, starting bow going back, let's talk about the options on you see on this boat. Breakaway trailer tongue going on. Uh, they're going to take turns storing out each other's houses. They wanted to make sure that they had it, uh, the ability to fit, so they went ahead and optioned that with it. The uh, Minn Kota, eye pilot going on, removable, 24 volt system by the way, not a 12 is what they wanted. Uh, again, three guys want to have versatility. Oversized casting platform with a lean bar and the extra bolt so they can move it from the front hatch also uh, in front when they don't want the trolling motor or they still want to add it uh, because they want to have it up front. Lavorsi lights, stainless steel package going on. Uh, their batteries are uh, actually located in the console. I thought they were going to be up front, but they're not. They moved it more for a weight center. Uh, glove box, insulated. They have a full sound system going on with the iPod Connect. The big thing about this boat, as you'll see, and you'll see it running shots as well, is the tower. Custom design, drawn by them. We welded this in-house, which by the way is a big thing. Now, I don't know many skiff companies that have in-house fabrication, but you can see the nice curve for the backrest. They have the jump seat going on. They have the insulated cooler still. All their batteries, controls, and everything are on this side with an access hatch on the other side, which you'll see in the run shots. They have two rod holders on that side. They have a big giant spotlight that they can move around if they want to see at night, night fishing. When one is driving, they can have the grab handle when another one is standing up in the console. Uh, the seat cushion is removable, or the lean post seat, I should say, for the backrest is removable. Um, two different foot settings, three guys different heights. Maybe you want to put it way up high, the other one down low. Um, cup holders, got to have the cup holders, guys, for beverage, holding your, you know, your jigs, your flies, and all that stuff. Double stuff cushion, standard live well setup going on. Uh, they chose the E-Tech 60. They chose it in white instead of the blue. Uh, the three-blade custom prop. And here's the other cool thing. They added the welded rod holders in the back. And not one, but two East Cape stakeout systems, as well as the T-Bore uh, push-pull holder. The reason why they wanted two was to position the boat, or if one guy pulls on you know, the starboard side, it's clear for him to use the stakeout system, and vice versa. Again, three guys, they all fish differently. Fly, spin, bait, plug, you name it. This is a sweet setup if you like that West Coast Tower look or you like to spot fish before you commit going in by pole. Uh, of course, V-Marine push pole clips, carbon marine push pole. Uh, thanks to our buddy Joe Wellborn and Paul at V-Marine. Just a really, really nice boat. Beautiful colors going on this. Uh, the water shots are just insane. Like I said, we have more of these coming down the line. If you guys are in Florida, if you're in Texas and you want to spot fish, not a better advantage than going with that, that setup. Uh, again, take care. Talk to you guys later. See ya.